In my last video, I showed you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to use Luma Labs Dream Machine, the best currently live AI text-to-video tool that really rivals OpenAI's Sora. Now, they just released two really powerful features, and so I want to show you how to use those new features in Luma Labs. So the first new feature that they added in here is actually attached to the image animation side of things. So if you add any image in here, and this is uh, just an image I got from uh, Leonardo over here, for instance, they now have the ending frame feature where you can add where that video is going to end with that same image. And so I wanted to test this out. I'm going to show you the results in a second here because it's really cool. So I started by just, you know, showing a powerful superhero, right? And then I wanted to have the end image be him in, in flight. So I think I ended up going with this one. So it starts with this image, the first image, and it ends with him in flight. And ultimately here's the, here's the result that we got. So you can see, this is so cool. It stacks both images together and animates the whole thing. So you can get insanely creative with this tool. The second feature here that they just included is the extend button. And I, I love this. If you've used a uh, Pika Labs uh, before, Pika really launched with uh, the extend feature out of the gate. And so you can really continue to extend any option that you want. So here was an initial one that I had created. I dragged an image in, it's a man digging the grave Microsoft Excel, right? Well, I extended it and then I had searched or I had typed in the prompt. So if you click extend, for instance, you can add an additional prompt in here that extends the original video that's generated to do a next step. And so I typed in here, you know, after throwing dirt in the grave, he spits on it, stomps his foot, and then jumps up throwing one of his fists in the air celebrating spoiler alert warning warning it didn't really do any of that <laughs> it did however extend it but he just kind of digs a, a new grave he doesn't do a whole lot so this definitely has some improvements that they need to uh to add in here now i also wanted to see how it would animate two realistic photos together so i took these two uh, images from my wife and I at a baseball game. So that's image one. Here's image two. We're going to add that as the ending. So we're going to come over here. We're going to add in that, that first image of us smiling. And then we're going to add an ending frame of us with now sunglasses on and us holding the baseball. And I'm going to type something in like, we caught the these balls flying at us in the outfield. And let's see what that generates. And so here's the results of what this actually came out to look like. So there's some weird funky animation in between there and I showed it to my wife and she's like, no, this is weird. This is surreal, but you can see, you know, it, it definitely worked better with me than it did with her, you know, a little bit or uh, outside of the glasses change there, but this is really cool technology and, and maybe some fun things that you can do if you have multiple photos of, of yourself or with your loved ones. I've already seen uh, people animate memes uh, as well, like the guy holding on to the girl, the girl over his shoulder, uh, animating that. Um, so there's a lot of options here. This is, this is pretty cool technology. I'm excited to see how it evolves. Have you used Luma yet? Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool. It's not perfect, but it has a lot of potential. And it's free right now. Anybody can go in, sign up, and use this AI video tool. If you did not watch my step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up and create your Luma account and create your first type of videos, click on this video right here for my step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll see you there.